One of the all-time great stories of ancient history involved the defense of Thermopylae, when a narrow pass was held for three days against a vast Persian army by just 300 Spartans, 299 of whom perished. The lone survivor then took the story back to his people. This legend flourished in the 21st century and was popularized by the 2007 Hollywood movie 300. You probably watched the movie and can recall the iconic image of six pack-bearing men in red cloaks fighting a fantastical force. What's the real truth behind the Battle of Thermopylae? In 499 BC, Xerxes, son of Darius, prepared the Persian army to invade Greece. Although at first this might seem like an invasion, Xerxes actually wanted to take revenge for the Persians' defeat of Marathon a decade earlier. Xerxes got together 200,000 men to put an end to the Greek city-states in the Mediterranean. Now, the Greeks weren't united into a single country, but they feared the Persians. Seeing the incoming threat to their existence, Athens, Sparta, and a few key allies decided to fight the Persians together. Sparta's King Leonidas IV marshaled a force of 300 of his bodyguards. He also got together a clan of serfs or helots to fight the Persians. The Spartans, its allies, and the helots briefly united to comprise a small but strong force of 7,000. Knowing victory would be impossible if the Persian forces simply outflanked them by sea, Athens marshaled a force of 271 triremes to sail in the battle against 1,200 Persian warships. Leading the Persian troops was a force of 10,000 immortals, a cohesive unit of feared soldiers known for fighting to their death. These immortals were not only well-trained, but they were well-equipped too. Compare that to the 300 elite Spartans, the Greeks stood no chance of winning this battle. The Persians dealt a major setback when a significant portion of their naval fleet sank even before the battle began. The Athenians and allies stood a chance of winning the naval battle, but could their counterparts on the battlefield pull off a miracle? The Greeks were better trained and well-equipped and used bronze armor. The Persians used primitive weapons and shields made of wicker and wore light or no armor at all. This advantage was insignificant against the massive Persian army. As Persian forces marched into Greece, Leonidas led his small army at the pass at Thermopylae. The pass allowed the Greek forces to make the best use of their formidable phalanx formation while completely denying the Persians the advantage of their overwhelming numbers. Taking advantage of his massive army, Xerxes commanded his forces forward into battle. Funneled into the narrow pass, the Persians ran into the shields and spears of the Greek defense without any success. Armed with short spears and swords, Persian forces could not penetrate the layers of the Greek phalanx, and thousands perished while the Greeks suffered few losses. Enraged, Xerxes ordered his elite immortals to enter the fray. He was confident that this would put an end to the Greek resistance. However, even the immortals were met with the same fate, death. At sea, the Persian navy had heavy resistance from the Greeks. A significant chunk of their fleet was destroyed by the storm, and their ships were captured. On the second day, the Greek navy destroyed a vassal of the Persian Empire. Later, learning an alternate route across the pass, the Persians could launch a surprise attack on the Greeks. Knowing the secret path, Leonidas stationed an army of 100 men to protect it. However, Persians defeated and gained access to passage. Knowing that defeat was imminent, Leonidas ordered his forces to retreat. Historians debate as to why Leonidas decided to stay and fight. Some accounts state that an oracle had declared that Sparta would only be saved by the death of one of its kings, and thus Leonidas was prompted by prophecy. However, in all likelihood, Leonidas decided to stay and fight as a matter of sheer military necessity. Holding his ground with his remaining Spartans and a fourth of Thespians, the Greeks reformed into a compact phalanx, except for the Thebans, who surrendered to Xerxes without a fight. Flanked on both sides, a final battle raged with terrible violence. Surprisingly, with the Greeks' advanced training and weaponry, the Persians had to suffer a lot of losses. Unfortunately, though, Leonidas was eventually killed. The surviving Spartans viciously fought back Persian forces, trying to retrieve their leader's body. Eventually, though, even these Spartans were overcome, and Leonidas' body was finally crucified. His head was also placed on a stake as a warning to further insurrection. So, that's the real story behind the Battle of Thermopylae. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like and subscribe for more interesting content.